Right, hi Tammy and all the family in Canada. It's the 5th of June 2011 and we're back here at Kipax Church in Yorkshire, England. Uh, obviously quite excited because after you've paid for the re-erection of the gravestone, we're hoping it's going to look great now because the last time we came, because it was laid down on its face. So we'll walk through the churchyard now and see if we can find a stone and hopefully it's all looking a lot better than last time. So we'll set off now and walk through. Quite um, if there's any weird noise on the video, I apologise. It was sunny when we set off. So the blacksmith, the um, stonemason sent me an email to say that he's managed to put the stone back up. So obviously we're hoping it looks good because from what we could tell last time, when it was laid face down, it looks to be a lovely carved stone with a nice scroll and everything. So I think when we see it back up in its full splendour, it'll be flashing. Because it's bad to see them when they're laid face down. But there's so many health and safety rules now in England, in graveyards, because there's been quite a few accidents, that if there's any danger at all of the stone being unstable, the churchyard does have to lay them down, so uh, that's the reason that you see so many laid down, unfortunately. So we're going back through the church like we did last time, heading over to the area where we, uh, we found it. So let's hope we can spot it. We had difficulty finding it before because there's quite a few laid down and we couldn't quite get our bearings but I'm hoping that I've spotted it here, Sammy. This should be it, stood up, perfectly straight. I think this looks like the one. Aha, uh -huh, here it is. Looking rather fabulous. Let's have a look here. Probably give it a bit of a clean up, but here we have it. Look, it's got the lovely carved rose. In loving memory of William Watson of Kipax, who died December the 7th, 1916. In his 76th year, his end was peace. Also Nancy, wife of the above, who died March the 7th, 1929, in her 83rd year at rest. And then it's beautifully carved here with Watson in lovely big letters. And like we said, it's the it's in the shape of a scroll, so it goes up and then just curves round the side. And then the ivy down the front as well. That's really unusual. We've not seen one like this before, so I'm thinking they may have had it personally designed. Um, so it's absolutely great to see it back up and in place should have brought something to give it a little bit of a scrub. I'll do that next time. So I thought I'd say a bit about William Watson, Tammy. He's your great, great granddad. And uh, I've written down what he is to me, a very vague, distant ancestor. He's my third cousin, four times removed. So that's quite a distant link, but anyway. And William was born in Sawley in North Yorkshire which is an absolutely beautiful village out in the wilds in, in rural Yorkshire. Very little there, and I believe his father was a blacksmith. And um, William's father is actually buried at Sawley, um, but the son must have moved on for work purposes. And I know on the 1911 census they ended up here in Kipax. He was a wagoner on a farm, which I think is like a driver, um, delivery, that kind of thing. Um, which is why, of course, he's ended up being buried in Kipax. Nancy, his wife, your great-great-grandma Tammy, she was from Kirby Malzard, another beautiful spot in the Yorkshire Dales, a lovely village from over there. Um, but, of course, they both ended up in West Yorkshire, where Kipax is based. So, um, it looks like William died first, so Nancy must have had the stone designed for him, and uh, it's quite weird to think that we stood on the very spot they will have stood the funeral all those years ago and of course your great-grandma Mary Jane wouldn't have been here then because she'd already emigrated to Canada 
so she wouldn't have been at the funeral of her mum or her dad, I assume. So it's quite nice to be here today. Pay our respects. And I brought some flowers. We'll just put them there for a photo. I think that should look really good, Tammy. I'll take some full photographs and uh, upload them to Ancestry later so that you can copy them down off there. So that looks fantastic. <laughs>